Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I just thought I'd show you my quick little online order from uh, a shop that we have here in the UK called The Works and they had a Christmas sale and it would be rude not to go and have a look, wouldn't it? And all of these things were half price. So I got a diamond painting for £2 and another diamond painting for £2 and some Merry Christmas wooden embellishments for us and they were £1.15 reduced from £3. I wouldn't have paid £3 for those to be fair but I don't mind paying £1.50. And I got some tissue paper for 50p and I got some, of course, Scotty Dogs for 50p. <laughs> So, yeah, um, I've not been able to get out around the shops uh, with Hubby at the moment. Um, he's getting better. He's getting stronger. Uh, but he's just not feeling well enough to want to go around shops or anything. So most of my shopping at the moment is online. But I just couldn't resist those um, four little felt embellishment Scotties with just little sticky blobs on the back to stick them onto cards or whatever. They've got little um, gems on the collars and their uh, holly leaves there so i thought they were quite pretty uh, again i'm not quite sure whether i'll actually put them on cards and send them to anybody i'm more likely to keep them for myself but <laughs> yeah. such is life <laughs> and i thought the tissue paper was really pretty i tend to find now that i do um if i give out any presents put them into like gift bags christmas gift bags um, so I do like to put tissue paper on things as well and I just like the white um, and the snowflake and the silver and I thought the white and the silver with them being just complete plain sheets then I can use these any time of year and the snowflake well I'll just use it at Christmas but uh, yeah so that's those which are always handy to have for 50 pence good bargain uh, these as I say I can't remember if there's 10 in here for it possibly they're just large um, wooden, well, MDF um, chipboard embellishments, laser cut out. Uh, they've got a big, oh, don't like that big sticker. I would have to uh, put that so that you couldn't see the white through there. <clears throat> I'd have to do something different with that. But yeah, so we've got one, Oop, two, three, four, five. So yeah, we've got five of the red ones and then five of the uh, glitter ones which you know if you're actually doing a christmas picture or you're doing a christmas card it's sometimes just nice to add an embellishment over the top of it or if you're making wreaths or anything like that or even to put it onto a candle i know it will sort of go around the candle but you know you could put it on say a bow or something just nice embellishments i'm always on the lookout for things like that because they will be used all the time i try with my card making and my crafting now to just buy things that i will use that will be useful rather than buying things just because i'm a magpie and i like them <laughs> so yeah they will all go away well they'll go in my wrapping uh, paper box and these will go away in my christmas box ready for christmas crafting next year and then these two um I had already seen them and I thought, oh, shall I get them or not? And I waited and I thought, right, oh, well, at £2 each, they're worth having. Um, I could keep them for myself or use them as presents um, or giveaways or anything like that. So, come in a nice box, which is uh, a bonus. We've got the Works, their logo on the back there. And it tells us we've got a drill pen, a glue pad. Uh, nine diamond colours and a diamond tray. So, oh, this is quite nice. Oh, all right, okay, it's a partial. So that's fine. Let's put the robin out the way a moment. And it's poured glue, so that's good. So we can give it a good squash out and we don't have to worry about it getting spoiled. Let's get this plastic flattened down a bit. I won't put them back in the boxes because um, I do want to keep them flat. I say they probably won't get done till next year now. Got a little thumbnail there showing us the picture, but I think you can see there. Uh, it looks like it's just Santa, his uh, clothes, his gloves, and his um, sack there that we've got. Um, his little face isn't, because it's such a small painting, if you tried diamond painting that, it would just come out as blobs. So. 
that's quite a good call on that one. I don't mind when they do things like that. Uh, none of the background is diamond painted, albeit you could add some glitter glue to the snowflakes just to make it sparkle a little bit more and possibly on the trees there on the snow. There's nine different colours, so quite a nice mixture. Uh, it says it's 30 by 30. Let's have a measure and see how big the actual drill field is or the picture size is because we're not fully doing it. <laughs> trying to straighten it out and it's not working uh, it is 25 centimeters that way which is nine and three quarter inches by 25 centimeters there which is nine and three quarter inches so yeah you're losing five centimeters two and a half centimeters for the border but again that's fine that's pretty standard on pictures these days okay uh the tool kit is one of these little round trays. I've not seen one of these for a long time. Uh, this is the standard pink pen, but uh, yeah, the round trays, they are okay. I mean, they're great for special drill gems and things. Um, when I first started diamond painting, uh, the Craft Buddy ones, the Craft Buddy Crystal Out uh, kits that I used to get did come with a little round tray. And because there's not the lines on the tray to line all your drills up, it just made it that a little bit harder uh, to pick your gems up but they used to come with a sticky pick up pencil which was one of those that had like they look like um, a standard white pencil but it's like a, a bit of a sticky like rubber going through the pencil so we used to call them sticky pick up pencils uh, and you used to get one of those with it so yeah that's interesting i'll probably just use that as a trash tray to be honest um although if it's not stuck down it i'll probably knock it all over the floor anyway <laughs> And uh, yeah, a little square of your red wax there. So, but, I mean, if you've got any green trays or whatever, you, you can soon use those with these kits. It's very different colours in this. A different type of drills as well. There is no DMC codes on this, um, which, you know, when you're paying that sort of money, I suppose. Um, hmm, okay, so we've got the uh, purpley, like bluey purpley colour there. Looks like that's the highlighting for the shadows on uh, Santa's beard and his coat and everywhere there. That is a gorgeous pillar box deep red there for Santa's uh, clothes and his hat. And then that will be, is that black? It looks more like a very deep brown actually rather than black. Not quite black that one. And your green for his gloves and his sack. And then again, some more lilacs and purples more greens some fawny colors and then white for the trimming uh, on his cuffs and his little hat and his bomb bomb on his hat so yeah i mean they're great to be honest i would think my granddaughter would probably enjoy doing one like this now she's done uh she's seven now and she's done notebooks and she's done cards and i did give her the i don't know if you remember the big b canvas um that just literally the B in the middle of the picture was diamond painted. So you might quite enjoy doing something like that. Okay, I'll put the drills back in the box for now, but I'll keep the canvases out to keep them flat for now while I decide what I'm doing. I'll pop that one away and we'll have a look at the robin. I suspect then that the robin will be the same type of thing. I'll have a look. Oh, yes. Okay, that's everything out of the box. I do like the boxes, the packaging is very nice. Okay, and okay, so it's a robin on a branch with a bauble hanging from the branch, and it's a holly branch, so we've got the berries and everything. And again, it's just the picture in the middle that is all completely diamond painted. Nine colours again. Let's just let's flip this down a bit. Yep, the whole of the bauble for this set uh, diamond painted. They'd look very nice actually done in gems, these, if you mixed in some gems with them, some of the crystal gems, I think. Uh, uh, or some particular some ABs on Santa, possibly on that one. It depends what you want to do with them or where you want to go. You can do them as uh, just exactly as they are, or you can bling them up a bit. Your choice. Okay, so same toolkit again with the little round boat. And we then have, let's have a look at these drills. No DMC codes. 
and we're not going to measure it though because I think you can see that this is going to be the 25 by 25 the same it's got the same size border as Santa oh we've got a spare one there that's just popped out that's number one so that one's come detached it's possibly going to be yeah it looks like it's the bauble and some of the berries and then a bit more muted colour palette this one greens browns or oh, peppermint cream green there very nice i've got some peppermint creams for christmas oh, i'm trying to stay away from them but they're calling my name that box may just get opened in the next day or so and then some more phones so yeah that's quite um that must be the colour of the robin then. Yeah, that one's the colour of the robin because we do only have the one red. It just got the very deep, whiny, reddy colour. Okay, but yeah, I think for the money and then for a little bit of fun, trying something new. They're very nice. Uh, I would certainly look at buying some more uh, if you do like your smaller paintings as well. Uh, I'm definitely a smaller painting girl. Albeit I have got a huge painting on its way. Oh goodness me. So just my little like, shopping haul there, a couple of paintings and a few little embellishments and tissue paper. Okay, well I hope you've enjoyed looking at my little shopping haul there. If you have, if you can give me a thumbs up, it would be much appreciated. And if you want to come back and see possibly these completed, although it may be next Christmas, um, and see my other unboxing, see what I get up to next. And if you press that subscribe button and the little bell next to it, you'll be notified when my next videos come out. So thanks for stopping by and I hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.